With a rising number of confirmed coronavirus cases, it would seem that the hard times are closing in. Even though food vendors are still operating in the market, some urban dwellers have been stocking up on dry food. I definitely stocked up on the dry stuff like the beans, the peas, the ground nuts, um, uh, then the foods, posho, cassava flour, millet flour, pumpkin flour, spaghetti, rice. I bought at least enough that I, depending on the consumption that we've been using per week, I just multiplied it by four. Natural things like guava leaves, uh, eucalyptus, ginger, garlic. I always have a concoction, honey, somewhere in my fridge, you know. So every day they have a dose of that. With the children and dependents now at home, one wonders how far these rations can be stretched. Jen Werike, an entrepreneur, stocked up when the first case was confirmed, but now she's running out. These other dry rations can be stocked. You can store them, you can keep them. But now the challenge some of us are getting are the perishable foods. Perishable as in fresh foods. If there is a total lockdown, yeah, as people are talking, it's going to be really hard for some of us. Because first of all, even the money is not available. As in to buy all that food in bulk. I don't know what happens, but when you buy in bulk, and then the children are on holiday, what used to take you a week, now takes you three days. Cause now they are lunch expenses, and then the kids are idle. So if you had a tin of biscuits that would take you a month because they are busy, now every time they finish playing, they are looking at the tin like this. And so, no, it's not enough. Economists advise financial prudence during these uncertain times. We talk to our wives that during this time, avoid expenditure on expensive hair, for example, so that we limit our expenses to basic needs at home. And also during this time, we need to avoid um, uh, acquiring uh, too much credit that we are unable to pay in the future. Because at the end of the day, we may also end up spending um, this money on unnecessary things. It's business as usual in downtown Boise. And while some people stocked up on food, these rations are diminishing. No one knows when the partial lockdown will end or if it will escalate to a full lockdown. I have uh, six people in my house. I have children. We had paid the school fees, had done this and that. You didn't expect this to happen. I have left with uh, at least half of what I bought and which is not taking us. Ne kira abiri, ukusinzi la kufamilia jeni na kama teka mala, tukuli kumva, achinza bomo kule mbeze wafu, atutire muko, agamem butu fu abantu bange, mawat dena kubiri, mufa yuko mchivuga, kubaka de chivuga, tiani ba demu na ba antu sawa ya lero singa, mukule mbeze watu dena kumeka, biri ovasato. In one of his directives, the president warned traders against increasing food prices, but a cursory investigation in the outskirts of Kampala will show you that even the price of maize flour has doubled. Gillian Nantume, NTV.